guys, I'm Athony Anyansi, and you're welcome to the Baby Talk Show. On today's episode of the Baby Talk Show, we'll be discussing delivery. With me here, I have a beautiful, amazing mother of two, wife, and fashion entrepreneur. You're welcome, Cynthia. Thanks for having me. So, first of all, you have two kids. Yeah. Your body is body goals. Ah, well, I wish. After one. Yeah, like the same. <laughs> yeah, definitely far from the same. But yeah, thankful. Okay, so um, about delivery, eh? Mm -hmm. You had you've had two kids now. Yes, I do. So did you do a CS or normal delivery? Yeah, I had a normal vaginal delivery. Oh. Yeah. Like how many hours was each? Oh, the first one was about fourteen hours, I'll say, but I was induced. Well, both times I was induced, okay. and the second one was say ten hours. Yeah, about that. Wow. So yeah. the second one sounds easier. Was it easier? It was definitely an easier process. Yes. I think, <laughs> if I remember correctly. Well, yeah. If you were told um, to decide between normal delivery and CS, would you have gone for one or? See, because of how, like I've never experienced CS, so I can't for sure say that it is the easier option or is a harder option. But from, like my mom had three CS and wow. two vaginal delivery and she swears by CS. She's always like, oh, yes, so you go the book your day, walk in 15 minutes, you're yeah. out. Well, vaginal, you are there 14 hours. So I, I can't say for sure because I haven't been given, I've never, I've not experienced CS, you know. Yeah. So then there's something about, like for me, mm. I didn't know that the doctor or the midwife has mm -hmm. to use their fingers to check how fire in. in yeah. Do, yeah. Mm -hmm. So how did it feel? Did it feel new or you had read about it or? I had read about that part, but to be honest, I, I had um, a epidural, so oh. uh, so I didn't necessarily feel that part okay. as much. Okay. Yeah. Was your husband there? Uh, of course. <laughs> Does he have a choice? <laughs> did you do a video thing or? No, no, no I didn't even record. I didn't record. I recorded moments before, but when like mm -hmm. it was time for action, I did not. And then you know, there's a thing about women cussing their husbands and stuff. First of all, I don't know where they get the strength from, yeah. but did you, how was yours? How was actually the delivery experience itself? Was it hard or? I, it wasn't, I, I, we're adjusting, but the problem was that I took my epidural a little too early. Mm -hmm. So by the time it was actually, it was time to push, I could feel everything. For some reason, the epidural stopped working on the, with the first baby, mm -hmm. it stopped working. So I literally, felt every single thing come out and the pain and the con ah, it was it was it was it was not it was not exciting well yeah he was basically there all through and okay. i he i'm sure i almost broke his hand <laughs> because <laughs> i squeezed for life and it, it was it was it was i mean once baby came out like they say i literally forgot about the pain okay then did you plan your due dates like did you plan that okay by april i'm going to give birth or by december or val's day no, did you I calculate it? No, I didn't calculate it, but I knew when I wanted to take okay. in, that was planned. But the due dates, I don't know, I, I didn't plan okay. delivery day. So now, about the delivery itself, mm. you know, okay, for me, I didn't know how, I didn't know anything. Mm. So it's like I'm just day by day, I'm going through it, I'm not reading on anything, yeah. I'm taking the day as it comes. So there's something about pushing mm -hmm. that I didn't know how to do. Like, I'm like, what's the technique? I kept asking the midwife, what's the technique? Yeah. How do I do this? Because I pushed like six times um, and I'm like, I'm done. Yeah. So how was it for you in that aspect? Mm -hmm. Did you know that you, okay, I was told you have to push like you're pulling. Yes. Did you know that before that day or? See, I, I read and read and watched videos. I, I basically scarred myself before I went into, I, I was over prepared, but nothing I really, prepare you, I guess, but I knew what to expect from videos and reading up on. So the fir from the moment I started pushing for the first one to delivery, I don't think it was that much, but for my second baby, I literally pushed twice oh, wow. and the baby came out. Like I literally pushed and the doctor was like, no, don't push so much. And he now, he now said, okay, push again. I pushed, he said very little and I pushed like really little and she came out and I literally looked at my husband like, that's it. <laughs> and he was like, are you all right? 
So yeah, it, the second one was pretty easy. It was fast for okay. me. So the last question is, did you give birth in Niger or abroad? Why? I had my baby out in America. Yeah. Do you want to tell us why? <laughs> the very reasons. <laughs> well, I mean, better healthcare, I guess. I think that's number one, actually. Uh, you get some. Uh, you yeah, passport. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> At the end of it, so yeah, it's, 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 yeah, why not? I mean, it's the icing on the cake, why not? Okay. Then I think we should talk about weight gain. Mm. If you had any. See, my first, I was skinny before my first baby. Mm -hmm. Like, after my, I took in during my honeymoon mm -hmm. I ha I got pregnant so I put I added an extra 30 kg from throughout the pregnancy both times what were you eating more food proteins, more carbohydrates anything anything. anything and my husband wasn't even helping matters like I'll be like oh babe I'm craving ice cream and he buys me like 10 buckets of ice cream and oh. I'll finish it in two days like if he was not, I was like, oh babe, I want chocolate. He buys me like 12 bars of chocolate and I just ate and ate and and I just laid down for nine months and ate and ate and ate. So there was no particular trimester where you had gained weight? No, from the first day I got pregnant, I was eating. <laughs> I don't know. I ate the day I gave birth. It was, it was terrible. Like my food habits was mad. Interesting. Is there any other thing you'd like to add or? No. <laughs> Thank you so much for coming on Thank such short notice yeah. i don't take it for granted Thanks. and we owe you a little something yeah. so we owe you the book 101 tips on parenting yeah. and some a little special something thank you i'll be expecting it <laughs> <laughs> so cynthia will be doing a little something for us wait for it oh my god it's so cringe what Let's baby go. shark doo -doo 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 -doo, baby shark doo -doo 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 -doo, <laughs> baby shark doo -doo 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 -doo, baby shark Mommy shark to do 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 mommy shark to do 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 mommy shark to do 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 mommy shark. That's it. <laughs> Thank you so much. Okay. Thank you so much, Cynthia, for coming on such short notice. It means everything to me. You're welcome. Seeing the fact that I've not even seen you gracing any talk show like this. So thank you so much for sharing your experiences with me and with the world. Thank you so much. So guys. Until next time, it's me, Watoni Anyansi. Bye.